Right, hello everybody. I'll give it a minute for people to join. And then we'll get started. Facebook has changed. <laughs> I haven't done a live in a while and now everything looks different as usual. Hopefully you can hear me and, and see, can you see my hand there? Oh, I need to turn my sound down. One, okay. Okay, hello everybody. Can you all hear me? I hope so. I'll turn mine up a little bit just for a second. Hi Jill, can you hear me? Hi Margaret. Oh, you can. Thank you. Perfect. Great. Okay, that's brilliant. Hope everybody's okay. Um, I haven't done a live in a while and there's a new menu on the bottom of my uh, Facebook. I'm a bit quiet, am I, Jill? Let me move my microphone up. Is that better? I have got a microphone plugged in. Let me know. Hi, Diane. Hi, Anne. Ah, oh, good. That's handy. <laughs> I tend to have to shout. Um, you'll have to excuse me if... Um, oh, are you still waiting for your Tesco delivery, are you, Margaret? Mine actually came early. It was meant to come between 12 and 1, and I was stressing slightly that it would arrive at 1 o'clock. But it actually came at 10 to 12, which was quite handy, really. <laughs> um, you'll have to excuse me if I start coughing. I have a bit of a cold at the moment, and um, I'm trying very hard not to cough. But it might happen, I have to see. So my apologies in advance. Um, right, anyway, there's a few of us in. So um, I don't know if you're aware, but we brought out um, some A-sized books. I'll just see if I can reach some others. Uh, that's it. Um, they're just slightly over the A sizes so of course when you actually put your pages in you can put in A sized pages and there's covers and we had the tr the pre-drilled spines with them as well um, I did a bit of an event with them recently so I haven't got many to hand um, so you get the spines where you can do the sewing and, and, and everything and I think the last live I did in this group I'm pretty sure was actually showing you how to sew in the signatures in the large book. So I think if you do a search um, on the, uh, I think you can search the topics or something, and I'm sure it'd be in there somewhere. Um, but this time I'm going to use, I think this is the A8. Um, they go from A5 down to A9. Um, this one is the A8. And I'm going to show you how to create um, these, this little um, inny to put in into your books. Um, so really simple. Um, if I've got time, I will just cover the covers with paper and actually finish the book. But we'll, we'll see. 
Um, so I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So this is all done with just an A4 sheet. The beauty of the A sized covers is that there's not really much measuring involved. It's really a case of just folding your papers down to the size you need to go in your books which is quite nice because a lot of the mini books especially all our original ones were a, a specific size so you had to measure everything but these you don't so it's quite handy right um so i'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way um put that over there you don't need very much stuff to do this um, put those there you don't need that one I'm going to do um, an orange one only because um, oh got that a little bit grubby never mind only because um, you might show up the pen marks a bit better obviously if you do this yourself you probably want to use pencil marks, but I'll use a pen mark in, in this case so you can hopefully see what's going on. Um, let me just move that light round a bit. I'm trying to get rid of the shadow. Let's try that there. See if that's a bit better. And we need to move along a bit. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully that's going to be OK. Right. So we'll get started. You do need a bone folder. That's quite important. So the first thing we're going to do is just this is an A4 sheet and this is medium weight um, paper, a bit like your cartridge paper type, except this is in colour. Um, you don't want anything too flimsy. However, you don't want to use thick card because of the size of it. Um, because it's quite small you'll find that folding the thick card gets a little bit tricky as it gets smaller and not really very satisfactory if, if, I, if I'm sort of like honest with you I think you're better off using just a, a medium weight paper for this so we're just folding this in to four like that do that one particularly well. But what we also want to do is we want to fold the folds back the other way because um, when we go to fold it at the end, they're going to go in all sorts of different directions, as you will see. So just fold that back like that. It's useful to use your, your bone folder each time. It just gives you um, a nicer crease like that. Hi, Art and Joe. How are, you? How are you, my love? Right, so there's, uh, there's your one folded into four like that. We're now going to do it the other way. So we're going to fold it into four this way. I'm trying to line it up without sticking my head under the camera <laughs> oh no I shouldn't laugh I'd make me cough <laughs> okay um, fold that back the other way like that oh bless you all you can see is my hands though <laughs> oh god hold on my apologies, I will do this. I've got a bit of a cold for anybody that didn't hear me say it the first time. I'll try not to laugh because it will make me cough. Right. Okay. And then fold that back the other way. So all of the folds have been folded backwards and forwards, if you like. Same with this one here. Put that back the other way. 
I'm going to cough again. Bear with me. <coughs> I am so sorry. Right. <clears throat> so now we have got um, this cut. This is folded into 16 sections. Um, so each section now is the equivalent size of what you're going to be using in the, this particular cover so that would fit in quite nicely in there so that's very simple okay um, what I want to do is I want to do some markings down the uh, middle kind of rows here um, so middle columns I should say so what I've done um, because I'm using this big punch um, what I did first of all, let me just grab a scrap bit of paper um, and I'll just punch one out. So what I did first of all was I actually measured this, measured this uh, across the width because this is going to actually fit in these pages quite nicely. It just worked out quite well, really. You don't have to... Um, get a punch to do this oh hi Jan you don't have to get a punch to do this you can do something roughly the same size this is about 39 millimeters by 65 roughly speaking as long as it's going to fit within that area quite nicely um, then it's fine it's not not essential what size you do so because I want to um, create some little slits in this I've made a template um, and what I've done is I've made the template just a little bit wider um, oh yeah it does doesn't it <laughs> this is my old work jumper Jan I should have changed really put something a bit smarter on I guess you are only seeing my arms it's not so bad <laughs> um, so uh, Oh, hi, Kay. Uh, right, so what I've done is I've actually made a template which is very slightly wider than this rectangle that I'm going to be using from, from this punched out rectangle. Um, and then I, I've cut a strip. So in this particular case, it's 45 millimetres wide. Um, so I've cut a strip 45 mil, which I then folded into four because that then will correspond with each of your sections on your um, piece that you've just folded up, okay? Then what I did was I made uh, some measurements down, um, and I think actually when I used it earlier, one of them was a bit out, so I'm gonna just amend it. So, yep, yeah, so that should be So what I've done is I've just put in a couple of marks. These are, um, as you go from the the top part, it's, it's roughly halfway. It's not exact. I was really quite sort of vague with it. Um, but I've kind of done it roughly halfway and I've done them 10 mil apart. Okay. And all I've done is just marked each side. And I've done the same in each section. So you've got your marks each side. I hope you can see those because it's it's not um, the best card probably that I've done it on. Let me hold it up to the camera so you can see where I've marked them. Hopefully you can see that. Right, OK. And then for ease... Because you, you end up, you can make a few of these. And if you've got one of these things, it just saves having to measure out every single section all the time. So I'm just going to pop that so that is sitting down the middle of the second section in. OK. And I'm just going to put a little mark. If you're doing this yourself, then obviously you can do it with a pencil so you can rub it out. 
I'm just going to put a little mark each side where I've made those little marks down the edge of the template. There and there. There and there. Again, that works. It's helpful. And in this one. So you've got your double marks. Sorry, the paper's a bit grubby. I must have something a bit mucky on something here. But never mind. You've got your marks on your um, piece of paper there. OK, and then we're going to do exactly the same, but in the next one along. So we're only doing the two middle sections, this one and this one. So do exactly the same. Like that. And like that. That one. And that one. Like that. It's terrible. I don't know where all these marks have come from. I must have got something on my hands or something, but never mind. Right, um, then you need your craft knife. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut slits. So you want to go, oh, hold on, I've lost you. Let me just see if I can find you again. Bear with. I don't know if I'm still live. Bear with me. phone has decided to um ah right okay yeah I think I'm yeah I think I'm still with you I think it was my phone that just yeah thanks Jan I think it was my phone that just um decided it didn't want me to watch the comments anymore and knock me out <laughs> but there you go right so you're going to be cutting slits so you're going from that whole that, that mark to that mark and that mark to that mark and then that one and that one that one and that one and so on so we'll do that so let's put that there like that so we cut from there to there Obviously, when you're doing this, be really careful if you're using a craft knife. Try not to take your fingers off and always use a metal rule, not a plastic one. Then we'll do the same on that one. There. There. And then that one and that one. And then we'll do from there to there. And then you can when you do these you don't even have to create a template you could eye it in because it's not um, it's not an important dimension um, it just depends how confident you are about eyeing stuff in like that and then to there to there so what we've got now is eight slots going down these center piece, the center of this piece of paper here, like that. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're actually going to cut um, three more pieces. So we're going to cut from this first point here, this first page there, right to the end. like that 
then on the next one we're going to cut from this point to the edge there like that and then on this one we're going to do the same as the first one so we're going to cut from there to the edge there like that so you've now got this loose piece here like that then what we do is this is where it's come into its own where you folded your paper both ways you're going to create it into like an accordion so we're going to do your mountains and valleys so you'll fold those four up like that and then that one will come up the back like that and then you'll do your mountains and valleys again like that up to there then that will fold on the back there like that and then you just fold that across like that that one goes up and then back like that so what you end up with is your pages like this I hope that's as clear as mud. <laughs> like that. Okay. Right. And then what you're going to do then is you're going to, um, we need to glue some of the bits. So if you open the book to the first page and then go along to the next one, this is where you have got these two bits joining together like this so what we're going to do with this one is we're going to fold that first piece back to create a pocket like that and then we're just going to open that out and we're just going to run a little bit of glue just along the back there so I'll run that along there like that and then we will fold that back up then we'll continue to turn our pages there's another page and then you come to one that this has got a flap at the bottom so you don't want to create a little pocket there because it'll be the wrong way around it'll be at the bottom so if we just open that out like that we'll get a circle punch I've already got something in there take that out we're going to circle punch like this and then we're going to go into the edge of this page about halfway and we're going to punch out a little finger hole okay then we'll just push that back in for a second so you can see where your book is opening you can see now you've got that pocket there however we need to just run some glue down the back and along the bottom just a little like that and then we will just glue that down like that then we carry on so you keep turning your pages like that and then you come to another one where you've got this um, opening here so we're going to make another little corner pocket like that and then we'll just pull that forward and run a bit of glue along there like that put that back there and then you can continue on until you get to the end of your little book then what we'll do is we'll just um, pop some clips round just so that will start to hold those pages together until the glue sets like that oh hi Mary 
Right, so I'll put that to one side. Now, what we did next, um, I'm not going to bore you with cutting loads of these. I've pre-prepped them, but I will cut a couple. Um, with. So I got my big rectangle punch that I used right at the beginning. And I need to just cut a couple of these out like that. I'm actually doing these out of card rather than paper and the card thickness is about 290 GSM. Um, it's perfectly fine to use the card and it actually gives it all a little bit of rigidity if that's a word. So I shall cut a couple of those like that and then I want to just take the corners off, so with a little corner rounder, I will, again this is optional, you don't need to do this, and as I said before, um, uh, you don't have to do them, you don't have to have a rectangle punch, you can actually cut them, or any any punch, uh, any sort of size punch really, as long as it fits in the slots. You'll see what I mean at the end. So that's that. Oh, I think I might have a bit stuck in there. Let's try again. Either that or I'm being a wuss, which is probably more the case. Right, so that's those. Now I have actually, let me just pop the lid back on that glue right I've actually cut quite a few of these um, I think I've done uh, 11 so there's 11 there we need 11 for the book okay right so let me pop those to one side okay so in the meantime we can um, because we're steaming ahead here I've probably only been on for like 10 minutes um, we can actually put some covers on your book. So I've got this lovely paper, which is um, Crafty Individuals paper, if you need to know um, who that's by. And it's actually lovely, this particular one, because it's got a nice gloss to it, which I think is lovely for the covers of books. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue my covers on to there first. So we'll get some paint. I don't know if this one's going to work because I haven't. Oh, I should do. So I'm going to pop some glue on here. Like that. Pop that. I can pop that right up to the edge actually. There. And then I'll do the same with this one, I'm going to do it handed. Like that. Pop that on there like that. And then we want to cut those out normally best to let them dry so they don't slide around but I'm going to take a chance <laughs> on a live <laughs> to cut them out um, it could all go horribly wrong let's wait and see <laughs> I'll pop my knife over the top just to and my ruler over the top just to try and hold it steady um, you can actually run the knife along the edge of the board, but be really careful. I mean, the board is over two mil thick, so it's quite chunky. But please be careful that it doesn't slide up and go over your fingers. Like that. It doesn't matter because that's on the edge. Right, <clears throat> and then... I don't think it moved too much. I think I was quite lucky there. Cut that bit out. Like that 
one. nail file so I have a nail file here and then all I do is just file round because obviously you've got curved edges on the two parts of the cover and rather than try and cut round it's much easier just to run the nail file round like that and get a much better result same with that one. Like that. Now, um, when we glue this these in, the cover will that will glue into the cover like that so you obviously need to do something around the edge of your um, cover there otherwise you're going to see the grey board um, so you could cover it with paper um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a sponge and a black ink pad I want to ink the edges anyway And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a little bit of ink around the edge on the inside and that will just get rid of um, the grey board. Like that. So when hands are all grubby now, when we glue the book, the page in, you're not going to see any of the grey. You can obviously do it a lot more um, with a lot more precision, and you can either use um, the same colour paper that you have used on the front and back of the covers, or you can. Um, just use a contrasting colour, whatever you like really, or even a bit of paint. Won't, won't matter, they wouldn't go miss. So that's one. I think I've got baby oil on my mat. That's probably... Don't ask. <laughs> baby oil and water make brilliant effects when you're painting. <laughs> so I tend to get covered in it um, when I use it. It's all over the place. It does, doesn't it, Jan? I always think it makes the colours pop when you've got a little bit of black like that. <clears throat> okay, so we'll just do the inside of this a little bit. Nice and simple. like that so I'm going to try and clean my hands a little bit so bear with me so that's going to be our covers like that and then we'll go back to our little book Well, the um, yeah, the baby oil and water. Um, yes, there is a tutorial for that. Um, I actually did one in this group as well, I think, at one point, and it's on our yeah, it's it's on our Facebook, on our um, it might be on our YouTube channel, I think. 
so this is uh, now this is all now glued okay um, that's the right way around like that so as you open your pages you can see you've got your little pocket there you've got your little pocket there like that and you've got your little pocket there like that so with these you can obviously cut these any colour you like you can decorate these stamp them whatever you wish to do um, before you put them in and then what we do is on this one where you've got these two little tabs here I'm going to put a cream one in first you just slot that into there like that turn it over put this colour in how many have I got there just the one put that into there like that then take another one of this colour just pop that in there turn the page I put pop that one in there and then that one we'll pop in there <coughs> that one will go in there like that then we've got that one so you can see you can get quite a lot in there that will go in there like that that one in there that one in there and that one in there really 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 simple to do so simple oh somebody's giving me an angry face i hope i haven't done anything wrong um so really really simple to do and that is um that is how the um, pages come together. So this is just one A4 sheet. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, Margaret, enjoy your delivery. <laughs> now, I have made three. Because obviously I had to have a bit of a practice this morning before I did the live. <laughs> um, so I've done a blue one and another orange one. Okay. And I'm basically going to just sandwich them together. So you can actually make, this is just three sheets of paper plus card. You're making a really lovely chunky book here. So what I'm going to do, um, you need to join the pages together. So we're going to just glue the last page and stick it to the first page of your next one. So... little bit of glue and we will just match that up with that and push that all together so that just glues those two pages together like that and then we'll do the same on this one Glue that to that. Like that. Oh, that's not quite lined up. Let me move that along a little bit. better okay and then to get it get it into your book you don't although these come with spines you don't need to use the spine all we're going to do is we're literally going to just um, glue the front and back cover on if I've got a spine I'm wondering if I could add a spine although it's probably too big now 
but yeah so what we'll do what we could do as well actually see i'm thinking outside the box now at the minute um i haven't done any of this before what we could do is we could add um a bit of ribbon i think would look nice so let me try and grab a bit of ribbon bear with me because i've done this a lot quicker than i was expecting so i'll do a little bit more let me just grab some ribbon probably not the, the best colour ribbon to go but it doesn't matter you get you'll get the idea so as usual I save ribbon from everything and end up with all these little bits but actually they're quite useful Let me get rid of that. and then what we'll do is we can Put the ribbon round we won't need that much but i'll trim it off we can put the ribbon round so it also sits across the back here you don't need to glue it to the back so i'll just put a little bit of glue here of the ribbon like that and then don't worry about the fact that that's messy because we're going to put the cover over the top so you won't even see it so we'll put a bit more glue on like that and then we're going to put the cover on so the back is level with all the pieces at the back there and then we've got the ribbon coming out underneath the paper so it hides how the ribbon is joined there and then we shall put a bit of glue along there like that like that and then I shall put some more glue on there <coughs> and we'll put that cover onto there so it's level with the back and that is encapsulating that ribbon in there which will also add to stop the whole thing springing apart um yeah and uh, basically this is one of our a sized mini books which um we do from a5 down to a9 this is the a8 they come with spines but i was showing you how to do um, this particular so i've given you all the folded um, directions at the beginning to make the insert for this so you can add all these little bits and pieces in as well so that's basically what the the, the whole live um, concept was really Okay, so we're just hold that for a second until it's dry and then as you can see now because you've got that ribbon on there it will hold it more together for you it's not all going to spring about and come apart like that and then if we open the first page you'll be able to see that that is all nicely covered by the piece of paper so it all looks nice and neat and then you've got all these little inserts that you can I mean again you don't even have to put um, 
these little inserts in. You could put little photos in if you wanted to. So it could be like a little mini memory book. Um, so, and again, as I say before, this is all, that's all done with just three A4 sheets of paper plus your little card inserts. But you might only, um, you might only want to use, say, two bits of paper. I just did three because I, I like the fact that you've got the same colour on either side and then a different one in the middle. Um, but yeah, you don't, you don't have to, um, you don't have to use three, you could use two or even just one. Just one is, is just as nice. Um, obviously you don't need to use our, our covers either. You can cut your own covers. So you can make this whole thing just with probably supplies you've already actually got at home and you don't need to buy anything. Um, but by all means, buy the A-books if you want to. <laughs> oh, don't, don't laugh, don't. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Right. So, um, so that's nearly dry. So then to finish that off, all we need to do is just tie that. That was quick, Margaret. I wish I could unpack mine that quick. Um, just tie that little that in a bow like that. And then and then what you can do is you can just trim the ribbon so it's a bit shorter if you want to. That's quite a, a long piece. Um, and of course you can decorate the front and back however you like. So I don't know how long I've been on, um, probably not very long. Let me just check. Oh, look, actually, it's nearly an hour. OK, that's fair enough. I was thinking it was only a little, only like half an hour. but So not too bad. They are really good, aren't they, our Angel? Only because at the end of the day, um, you haven't got to do any measuring, which is what I like about them. It all just, um, they all just come together with, with folding and cutting and, and that kind of thing. So that's that. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, only 10 minutes short of an hour, but it's not too bad. It just went quicker than I thought it was going to go. I appreciate you coming and joining me. And um, I think I'm back again in a couple of weeks or so. I have got the date, but I don't know what I'm doing yet. <laughs> um, I didn't know what I was doing today until this morning. Uh, but lovely to do a live again. I haven't done one in a while, so it's nice to sort of um, get out and do a live again. And I'm glad everything worked because that's normally the case with me, that things don't work. Um, I appreciate your time. Thanks so much, guys. If you've got any questions, just shout um, and I'll try and answer them for you. Um, take care, everyone. Bye for now.